Hi, my name's Joe. Um, I've been on hemodialysis for five years uh, and I just had recently had a transplant five years ago. I was doing nocturnal dialysis, what was a complete change in life, gave me my life back. This is my partner, Corrine. Um, she, she's been supporting me all the way through my, from my transition from uh, nocturnal dialysis all the way through to um, transplant. So she's always been there for me, what's been a great support and I wouldn't have been out without her. I think it, it, it was tough to obviously be in that situation of, of being in a relationship with someone who was, who was essentially sick. But I think we just got used to it. The training in the hospital that you have for home dialysis is incredible. They support you all the way. So having the machine there wasn't really that daunting because you'd been used to it in the hospital anyway. When Karina eventually found out that she was pregnant, it was a, it was a really nice shock. Um, something I wasn't expecting because I wasn't really planning for family due to the fact that the chances were very slim. So when we found out that we was expecting Charlie, it was, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, and the feeling was just like overjoyed and happiness to bring us life into our relationship. So it was nice. Two years later, after my transplant, and this little one comes along. So it's a bit of a two miracles. <laughs> uh, I had the freedom of going to be with Corrine as well as working full time. So when she had um, the hospital appointments to have the check up, the scans, any appointment, I was able to be there for her. I didn't have to worry because I wasn't in hospital. And then as time got on then, as she's getting bigger with Charlie in her belly, I was able to be there more for her, what was really nice. I wasn't restricted to the hospital, so I'm with her all the time. If she needed anything, I didn't have to worry about stuff. So it was good. It was, it was nice to not be alone during that journey because obviously that, that would have been a concern if obviously him not being able to attend some of the appointments, say, or if something would happen, I know that he was going to be there because he was available to be there. So that was nice. And as I said, like the nurses in the hospital then, they were very supportive and throughout the whole journey as well. So having the com comparison between being a dialysis patient and then going from that, it, it wasn't really much of a difference because obviously he was still getting closely monitored um, as it was so close to having his transplant with the, with the drugs and things, everything was still being adjusted. Um, so it, it, he, we were still getting a lot of that support from the nurses in the hospital. So it, it was nice to still know that we had that support whilst bringing, you know, bringing up Charlie then. But yeah. I mean, I think it is an adjustment when, if you've obviously been in that relationship before, that home dialysis comes in, into your home then. And I suppose there's no getting away with having that machine in your home. It, it, it is there and it is something that, you know, you do see every day. But at the same time, it does give part of your life back as a, really, as a couple. You don't have to be apart from each other during the day with those six, seven hours of dialysis. It's, it's an adjustment, but it, it's doable. It's, it's, I think it's far more family friendly than being in the hospital then to have dialysis. Yes, it makes it easier because you're at home, you're with, the, you're, with, you're with your family all the time. So you're not got the hospital interfering. So it is, even though you probably could do it with the hospital, with the hospital involved, you know, with the three days a week dialysis, but being at home and doing home dialysis is so much easier for for this purpose, you know, not for, for this purpose, but it is easier to bring up a family on home dialysis than in and out of the hospital, yeah. You know, having that communication between each other and being able to do that was it, that helped a lot, and it did bring us closer together. I think, yeah, because there was that kind of trust there, and because I didn't, I wanted to learn as much as I could to be able to support him as vice, as I think you would if it was me. Yeah, Karina has to learn how to do the machine to help me to put needles in as well. She had to learn how to needle me. It's a lot of trust. It's a lot of respect, and it brings us closer because. It's a weird bond because you know she knows what I'm going through then and I understand how she's feeling about what she's got to go through to learn to train for me. So it's a lot of respect and trust and it makes us closer yeah. in, a, in, a, in a funny sense of way that dialysis has brought us closer. <laughs> Home dialysis has brought us closer.